What the heck is going on guys? We have a massive update. It happened already. I don't know why they always drop these patch notes like right when the update's happening. Makes it impossible to get the info to you guys till after it's already out. So I'm sure you guys have already been in game and exploring. Maybe you saw our too long didn't read video uh, that went over the notes pretty quickly. But this time I'm going to go through them a bit slower. Go over some things we missed. Talk some shit like I normally do. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. So first, the symbols. Um, so there's going to be like four types of symbols. Uh, and I'm speculating based on this symbol of transcendence, symbol of harmony, symbol of chaos, and symbol of uh, ancientry. I think I said that right. Um, they are what we use to transcend our summoner. And it also mentions here that this can be accessed after you've reached a level 70 summoner. So I believe that we're going to be able to use our leftover transcendence pieces in order to create these. It um, says it in the next line there. If you read the next line, it's like symbol of transcendence, harmony, and chaos can be obtained via alchemy. Yeah, so I think you're going to be able to transition them into these. And then the symbol of ancient tree can be obtained via combined symbols so like how you combine the gems and stuff yeah so they show that here you like combine all yeah. three or whatever um now one pet peeve i kind of have is they so first is they show legendary and hero when we're only getting the gray and the green i always do that because i click it but all uh, the gray and the green and the other thing i have beef with is <sighs> i really think that this is a misprint because if you guys see here like monster attack and like red is always attack purple is always hp Green's always defense. Like, that's how, like, the colors have already kind of worked as no. far as the gems. No, there's only three colors for gems. No, no, like the, like the runes and stuff. No, but yeah, there's only, there only three. Oh, it was yellow, red, and green? No, yellow, red, and, or blue, red, and green. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, there goes that. Okay, well, yeah, see, this is why we do the longer videos. Me and Shadow so, talk shit. What I think is the the red one is going to be attack, crit damage, and crit rate. Yeah. And then the green one's going to be defense and uh, maybe, like, accuracy and something. Yeah, and then this and one's going to be HP and, like, HP evasion. HP, res, and evasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the... Oh, so this will be precision <clears throat> as the other one. Yeah, and then the last one's going to be, like... Random? A flex one, yeah. So it can be attack, it can be defense, HP. Okay, so Chad is probably I think it just might be the three main stats. Attack, defense, and HP. It might not have, like, the res, the... All the... Uh, what do you call them? Cap stats. All the ones that, like, kind of cap at 100%. Right? You might not be able to put that in for the fourth one. I'm not sure, though. It doesn't really tell you. Yeah, we'll have to see. I'm sure people have already looked in-game. Uh, we'll do that at some point eventually as well. Um, but yeah, so interesting. Uh, main main thing here, guys, is I do kind of wish they gave more information in this. Like, I guess you can just see it in-game, stuff like that. And it doesn't matter since they drop it late anyway. But if they release this, like, a week early with, like, more information and we could all, like, speculate and prepare... That oh, would be ballin'. Go, go back up. Look at the main thing here, though. Look how many crystals he has here in the first screenshot, and then scroll down. Bruh. Whoa. What <laughs> happened? All those crystals. Bruh. <laughs> he spent 100,000 crystals on legendary gems? It was 900,000, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> A million crystals just... So, yeah. So, Crazy. They, they might be expensive. Who knows? Looking like it. <laughs> Um, okay, and then uh, the new battlefield. So this is really exciting for me. Uh, I think that this is a really cool concept. Uh, the whole capture the flag concept uh, has always been really fun to me in games. Um, I know League of Legends obviously is not capture the flag. It is a turret based system, but I do find that having PvP that is uh what's the word uh mission oriented not mission oh. objective objective oriented thank you like how league is like how a lot of those type of uh pvp 5v5 10v10 type games are it's always much more fun if there's objectives so capture the flag is a good start in having pvp content that does have like objectives as well as i found the mining to be super boring especially like 
Uh, as far as a content creator, like, PvP is kind of, like, a go-to. People love to watch the, the high-end PvP. Um, and I found that, uh, when I was doing Battlefield, like, the ticking noise was super annoying, as well as it just being super boring to watch. <laughs> so, I'm super happy that they're kind of getting rid of that. Uh, let me know down in the comments down below if you liked the old way, if you think this new way is good. What do you think? What do you think, Jetta? Uh, I, li I like the... PvP or the capture the flag. Uh, I played World of Warcraft, and there's a map. I think it was called Warsong Gulch, and like it was like an awesome capture the flag map. And it looks like they have this setup similar. So yeah. hopefully brings back some nostalgia. Yeah, I wonder if there's going to be like rule or, or rules for the flag carriers. Uh, like, are they going to be allowed to attack while they're carrying the flag? If they get attacked, do they drop the flag? Like, see, I don't, get I don't think you're flag? gonna be carrying a flag. I think it's gonna be like waypoints. No, it's gotta be capture the flag. Does it, does it not say capture the flag? Yeah, by capturing flags. Yeah, you gotta yeah, but go, you like, capture the no, you capture the flag by standing in that blue circle. I guarantee it. So it's gonna be like domin. No, that'd be domination then. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, maybe I'm wrong, but. I guess you're right. It does a capture the flag, which means you grab the flag and you try to run it to your side, right? That's how you would capture the flag, right? Normally, like, yeah, the flag is at their base, and you take their flag and bring it to your base. Yeah, I went, then, I went to camp when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, and, like, the other team, like, you have to have both flags to score. Yeah. So maybe I, they won't have that in here. Maybe they'll just let you, like, constantly capture flags. Yeah, I'm just really, because, like, I see flags all over the place, and I see blue circles around it. So... Like, uh, remember we played Avatar in Beta? Avatar yeah. Reckoning? That's how their capture the flag was. Yeah. You, like, stood in the circles. Anyway, that's enough to chat about that. Uh, I am pretty excited. They did, uh, they kept the rewards very similar, but obviously they changed it a little bit just because there's not going to be a mining MVP anymore. But I mean, not as many people. Yeah, and not as many people. So they definitely changed it a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, this common reward, this seems like a lot more gold. I don't remember it being 100,000 per battlefield, but oh, maybe that, I'm that's, wrong. A, that's a mistype for sure. Look, the, the reward above it. It's only 7,000? I don't know. This one's oh, 51,000. No, so. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So they increased that's that a lot. That's just for playing a game. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, that's if you win, right? Yeah, and the other one's if you lose. The 51,000 yeah. ones if you lose. So pretty cool. Um, but everything else pretty much is staying the same, apart from, like, it being 5v5 now and stuff like that. Like all the and they're going to have the but... pings. Oh, yeah, the pings. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention the pings. See, this is the problem with already doing a video. Yeah, the pings are huge. Does it say what the pings actually are going to be? It, it says it down on uh, the other one. It's, like, attack, rally, uh, danger. And then the other one said dismiss. It's going to be the same for PvP. We'll see. I, I'd assume it would be the same. Um, and then we have the Nine-Tailed Fox coming in, so we might as well go over their skills here quickly. So the Fire One uh, attacks the enemy. If the attack doesn't critically hit, applies crit res down with a certain chance. So that's kind of cool, actually. So you build her, like, no crit rate and uh, hopefully put crit res down all the time. And then uh, her first, uh, her basic, or sorry, her first skill here uh, applies Phantom Light to itself and attacks the enemy with Glowing Spheres three times. Uses Phantom Light Meditation 1 if Nine-Tailed Fox has a certain level of Phantom Light or above. Alright, so let's look at what Phantom Light actually is. It says applies Phantom Light to itself and applies crit damage up to itself after attacking the enemy. In addition, uses Phantom Light Meditation 1 uh, if Nine-Tailed Fox has a certain level of Phantom Light or above. And then her passive applies Phantom Light to itself uh, every certain time during battle. Um, so I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like her because it wants, she applies crit damage up to herself, but you want to build her with no crit rate so that you can put crit res down on them. So I don't really see this being a great unit. Yeah, we, who knows what the Phantom Light stuff does. Yeah, we need to see. Yeah, yeah. they just add it all the time. Yeah, it's so annoying that they, they don't show, like, the below like when you're in the game and you look yeah. at their skills they show all like the percentages and what like the skills actually do and then this just like the description is actually kind of annoying uh okay so basic attack is just normal and then her first skill recovers the hp of an ally target if the nine-tailed fox has a certain level of phantom okay so she's doing the phantom thing too <laughs> uh -huh. or above you know what i'm you know what my bad guys i'm gonna skip these we're gonna go over them in game she, this one's supposed to be the good one 
Uh, the wind one. This is the one you had forever, right? Yeah, she was my first four star. That I but got look, the it's Sky the Arena. Phantom and stuff. Okay, okay, guys, we're gonna go over this in Sunday's video. We're gonna look at the nine tailed foxes. Uh, so if you guys didn't hear our new stream schedule, yeah, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays, uh, streams on Saturdays. And I'm gonna summon the dark nine tailed fox. Yeah, Ch Chetta says that. So yeah, sorry, our bad. We kind of half went over those. Um, it's just not giving us enough information here. I want to go over them in game. Um, so we'll probably cover that Sunday because we'll be doing summons and stuff anyway. Uh, but yeah, and then also uh, Valkyrie Banner, which uh, is kind of cool. They did just give her us for free in like an event thing. Uh, is when we got the Harg skin and stuff like that. So this is actually a really good way to um, awaken her very easily. This is much better than using a blessing in my opinion because you're guaranteed to get the pity plus you have the rate up on her just to actually summon her um and chetta swears by her she is a very good unit she's a very good healer so that's a pretty cool banner but of course with the new monsters being out yeah uh skins my new camillican 3v1 stuff so crazy yeah you love star rooms now yeah she's huge uh, and then Nine Tailed Fox skins. And then, okay, uh, Galagos. So I did touch on this in the other video. Uh, if you guys didn't see it, what I think it's going to be is going to be um, when you're getting like a buff and you say you don't like any of the three uh, buffs in Galagos that you don't like, uh, I think you're going to be able to refresh them and get three different ones. So let's say you're in Orbia and you get all uh, support slash Kina type uh, cards and you want to reroll to try to get a card for like uh, Mage slash Orbia. Uh, I think you're going to be able to refresh it. But the other thing I was thinking is now that they have, like, the refresh in Galagos for, like, so you can do it, like, twice, I was thinking maybe this means that you're going to be able to keep three of them going into the, like, new, the reset. But I think that's probably wrong. I don't think that's actually. So you think, is. like, you push up, maybe you can only, like, get to the level three boss, and then you reset, and you get to, like, keep three of the buffs that and then move back through, and like hopefully, then you sh should be able to get further. Yeah, and you should get better buffs. Three buffs from the time before. Yeah, so like let's say you get the Oblivion buff and you get the two Thirst buffs. But well, I don't like the Oblivion one, and I the Oblivion one is so good. I haven't though. seen the Thirst ones. So I think they took them out. What? They were so good. I didn't get the last one. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, yeah, <clears throat> it's like it's like what you said. Yeah, that'd actually be so sad if it. Yeah, but like, yeah, you keep the legendary buffs and then go on and do the Galagos all again. again. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong, but well, I know I'm wrong, probably. I think that's what I said the first, the first thing I said. But when I first read it... Can now you reselected? Yeah, I think it's a reroll. Yeah, that's what I think, too. I wonder, I wonder what they're going to charge you. Hopefully they charge you Galagos coins and not crystals. It's going to be crystals. What are you talking about? Hopefully it's Galagos coins. Galagos coins are valuable. Yeah. Excuse me, guy. And, like, My it would help you, uh... Get more Galagos coins by maybe doing a reroll on sometimes. Oh, true. Yeah, like you reroll right? and then yeah, and you can get more. Like you actually you got... get a good buff. Yeah. Uh, they then uh, next year they made some arena changes. Uh, nothing too big, I think. Uh, you can now form a tag team or use quick battle via continue. Uh, um, it says something here. Defense team. Once registered, the defense team will be applied for the remainder of the season. I don't. They're so only know. gonna have to register your defense once a season instead of every week. That wasn't a big deal anyway. But yeah. Um, and then the new raid we did talk about it. In the yeah. other one, I do think it's gonna be like a Reed Hill uh, butterfly effect type uh, raid. I don't think it's gonna be like an actual like yeah one raid of the quick raid ones. Yeah. Um, but that still is just gonna be more rewards. So that's that's cool. I dig that. Um, and then this is what Chetta was talking about earlier. So it says attack, rally, dismiss, in danger. So I'm assuming the pings are going to be the same in... Uh... It says four types of signals, but that's only three, right? Because it's attack, rally, danger. And then the dismiss one is actually going to be like just to close that menu, right? No, I think dismiss means like... Um, like it's for raids. Groups? No, because it's for raids. So yeah. I think dismiss means, like, I'm done. Like, I'm leaving. I'm not coming back. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, it doesn't make sense. You're right. But, <laughs> okay, anyway. I think dismiss means to, like, close the pop-up. Because it's going to be one of those circling pop-ups. And it's going to be, like, left is attack, up is rally, right is danger, and then down will be, like, dismissed to, like, close the menu. 
There's only three, right? I don't know. That that, sounds that's dumb. how I see it. No, that sounds too dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how it reads. <laughs> well, uh, listen. This, this would be the stupidest. See, this is what this is why we have to do the long videos because their patch notes don't make sense. Uh, but so next here, uh, they're getting rid of the like leaf bonus thing in the ruptures and the seal. Um, however, they mentioned further down here. Oh yeah, it's right here. Um, they're now going to going to allow you to do that dungeon unlimitedly. Um, so actually, what had happened is they had if you were out of supports, you couldn't even run the dungeon anymore. So like you couldn't even help people in your alliance or your friends or whatever uh, run raids, which is like super counterproductive to like an MMO group game um so i'm really glad that they fixed this uh you're gonna be able to do it now but they did remove those uh leaf bonuses just in those two contents um and then as well uh it says uh the number of additional rewards that can be obtained when clearing a dungeon with a beginner summoner has been limited to 99 per day so I, chad is gonna have to correct me here but does this mean that you're gonna be able to run like white castle and get rewards up okay. to 100 times a day like the leaf bonus, like up to a hundred times. It sounds like it. Yeah, so they they like way increase that again, which is funny because I thought. But that they that... like limited it now. They like found a way because pe I think people were abusing this by just using uh, tickets and stuff too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could do like all your supports, and then people were just going forever. Yeah, so they're stopped. They're putting it to ninety nine. Makes yeah. sense. Um, and then also as well, uh, there, they did some like, uh, reward changes, uh, to Seal and Ruptures and Foggy and White Castle and Waterfall. Um, so I, I really don't know what this was before, to be honest. So I don't have too much to say other than that, like, this is six star runes now and we get coins like every time. It was always six star runes. See, you didn't say that, but I really don't remember that. It was. It was. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't really, like, know too much it's what this coins. was before. I think that's all it is. I think it's just more coins. More coins, yeah. That's what I think, too, from what I've seen. Sky stones are still... <clears throat> still none. Um, and then it looks like there was also an issue, uh, in the new raid. Uh, is it raid? Is that where it is? Uh, party dungeon, whatever it's called. Uh, the, the new one, anyway. The Tree of Heroes. Uh, it looked like it had an issue of, uh, displaying a skill range. Uh... Sorry, it was displaying all at once. But either way, they fixed it. So you probably know what it's talking about if you got caught in it. Um, and then there's also skill effect animation within the Tree of Heroes will be improved. So hopefully that makes it a little bit easier. Hopefully it was just a little bit buggy. Um, and then uh, the Trial of Ascension Hidden Rooms we kind of already talked about. Uh, the runes, I didn't really talk about too much, but essentially there is just going to be like a store all and a take out all function. So it's going to help you like more easily move your runes between storage bins. Um, so store all stores all the runes in possession that can be stored. So essentially if it's not equipped and then take out all takes out all the runes that are in storage. And then another change they made is view details on and off button has been added onto the rune storage. So essentially... Yeah, that was can... actually so annoying. You'd have to move a rune over from your storage to your inventory and before you could turn it. on the view details thing. Yeah, it was so annoying. Yeah, so now you can just turn it on and off. Thank God. Yeah, really nice. And then storage can now be used uh, on the rune assembly page, which is actually insane. Because yeah. it'll help you clean out your rune storage easier. Yeah, I got a bunch of runes in my storage that are garbage. Yeah, so that's going to help me a lot. Yep. Um, and then runes can now be locked or unlocked from rune crafting and com combination resolve pop-ups. But I swear that was already a thing. No, it wasn't. There was, like, the little box there, but you could, like, tick it and disassemble it. That was your only option. Oh, oh, oh okay. So, yeah, you can lock them now. Nice, nice. That's good, because sometimes you get a good one and you don't want to, like accidentally combined it when you're doing like a big combined session yeah and then it's a pain to go and move it all over and stuff like yeah, that yeah like so. find the exact one that it actually was that was the good one yeah Along all all the garbage again all the crap yeah um and then so book uh certain lists in the collection challenge requirements will now indicate the source so it's just going to help you finish the collection challenge a little bit easier um, and then this one, I actually don't think I talked about it in the other video very much. I briefly mentioned it. Um, this is more for guild leaders and veterans, but essentially it's going to allow you to ping all of your guildies to come to the guild town. 
um, which is really cool because uh, if you're going to be doing like something like Guild Raid, you can kind of ping everyone. You guys can get your 4% buff uh, out of the hot spring. And then you guys can all go in together into the Guild Raid. So I think that this is a really cool feature. Or like if you're going to have a mount off. A mount off. True. <laughs> Aspen style. Um, or like uh, you could do tournaments with your guild as well. It's dumb, but and you could call like, them all in. Make sure that everyone's actually going to be on the game, not just AFK. Yeah, there's a bunch of things you could do with that, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I think it's just literally just for guild rank. It is just for guild rank. And yeah. just to be annoying, I guess. To be annoying? Yeah. Chad is going to be that annoying guild leader. I already see it. Yeah. Run for the hills. No. <laughs> um, and then uh, they changed the... This is huge. They changed uh, the profession so you can craft 300 consecutively. I think it's going to do them in stacks of 20 still. I think you're going to, like, do a stack of 20 and it's just going to, like, That's keep a, doing yeah. stacks of 20 one after another because it says... Crafting can be paused. Yeah, so you can hit cancel and stop it. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I think. So hopefully do. it like crafts them fast enough. I don't want to sit there and have to like if you want to craft 120, you gotta sit there and watch it. Oh, uh, it's way better than clicking it before, like still wouldn't be great. At least you wouldn't miss it. We shouldn't miss it. Um but yeah, and then also they're adding four and five star rainbow on crafting recipes. I need five star rainbow on so bad. What do you mean there, there's the event right now? You can just buy twenty four, boom. Yeah, but I wanted to buy my Devilmon first. I my I already bought my Devilmon. Get on your stuff. I bought my Devilmon. Okay, now buy your Rambomons. Come on now. Bought anyway, eight. that is cool. Um, I, I've never really had a problem personally. Cheddar apparently says otherwise, but... Yeah, I was actually upgrading my Water Vampire Hunter right when I first got him. And yeah, I ran out of Rambomons and it used a whole bunch of his pieces to... So I can make him level 70. Oh, so you had to restore him? Yeah, I had to restore him. Super lame. Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome. I got all that account level. True. <laughs> um, field event. Uh, so they improved. Uh, so the correct field event icons will display on the map and mini maps and the field event maps. So just some like uh, uh, quality of life fixes, I guess. Um, equipment items that can be used as blacksmithing material uh, will display separately indicators. Uh, within the weapon images so essentially just uh improving a lot of the uh or some of the blacksmithing equipment stuff and they're, they're adding a promote button there so you'll just actually be able to click on the piece and it'll take you right to the recipe yeah you don't have to like <laughs> go all through it that, that menu's like super hard to like scroll through yeah especially on a computer so especially on mobile oh, i don't find it's it annoying, that way, but... it's like it, yeah, but you can't go, like, sideways. You have to go, like, down and then across. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they're also adding a tutorial replay. So if you do want just, like, some more... Their their tutorials actually are pretty good, like, in-game. Um, yeah. They do a good job. So if you do want to re-see that. Uh, and then apparently they're doing some quality of life to the Lizard Man HQ. Uh, I've been sending my guys out for Skystones forever. I promised you guys a video that I never really did. Uh, conclusion is not really worth it, but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, that's the video. There you guys go. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah. It's not worth it. It's, it's not worth it, but I do it because, yeah. Especially now with the mining and gathering cap, you have to send them out for materials. Until you're you done master, and then it's like up to you. No, you still need You need so much. Probably, but I'm fine. It, take, it takes you a week to craft one gem. Maybe. And maybe. You might not even be able to do it if you don't get like lucky and have some stuff left over. I know, I'm just... I buy the pats, so it's a little bit easier for me. Oh, yeah, so you get two gems a week. Yeah. But, no problem. <laughs> uh, actually, the gathering cap is... It's, like, it takes so long to do the gathering that, like, I understand the thousand cap, but at the same time, like, it's just not enough for how much they charge for everything. Like, they need to reduce the cost of stuff. Yeah, they need to reduce the cost of the legendary gems a little bit. But wh whatever, it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. It, it, just, it takes time. It takes yeah, time. Yeah, with the cap, it's so hard now. So glad I have a big stockpile of, like, red diamond ore and stuff. Yeah, same. Um, And then I didn't really talk about this too much, uh, but the destroy set. So they essentially uh changed it so chad is going to explain it so it seems like when a monster put a dot that it was destroying the enemy's health and yeah no, it's not going to do that anymore yeah it's only like damage because when they 
when you look at like the damage uh, calculation thing at the end of the match, it'll show like all the damage that the monster did, including its dots. And then same with like the healing one, it'll show the continuous heals. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Either way, uh, it is like I said in the other video. It's like how it was in Sky Arena now. So. That's just how I already thought they were working because I wasn't using them yet. So yeah, that, that's that's how I thought they were working too. I guess you wouldn't know unless you put it on a daughter. Yeah. Um. Then it says the amount. Oh, um. I you forgot the other two here. The foresight one. Oh yeah, it's just which a five percent. I thought the foresight one was so good. So, so yeah, twenty percent more. Even, yeah, an extra five percent. That's really good. And then the assemble like they could admit they should make that twenty five percent. Maybe. That, that, that is so useless. Right now. Right now, the whole, like, basic attack mechanic system is pretty useless. But, like, I understand why. Like, that's I, what I have question. my guy, too. I actually have the guy that uses precision, uh, Silver Fang. And it's still useless? Well, it was so easy to hit the cap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then AI improvements. I already went over most of these uh, in the other video, but it's basically just making assassins go for mage types immediately first. Uh, and then it's going to have warriors attack assassins first. So warriors are going to be important for Orbius to protect against those assassins. So maybe you want to have a backpick warrior in your pocket in case uh, your opponent picks double assassin. Actually, in the tournament we did with uh, Topher with Dwar. With Topher Smurf there that we hosted with uh, our guild. Uh, Double Assassin won, didn't it? No. It, it, it was Momo second was place. Doing Double Assassin, right? Yeah, he was second place then, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the Double Assassin was pretty nuts. Actually. I hope uh, the first one there, the one that's like. The, the common. Common. I hope that makes your monsters like actually be on your butt when you've got the whistle thing on. Yeah, they kind of have to do like, that they with fall how they've been doing. Too far. Yeah, and with how they've been doing a lot of the new uh, raids, it's, like, very important they get all your guys out of the stuff, and if they're too slow, like, it's not your fault. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, like Jetta said, they're, like, closer to you with the whistle. Um, and then they did some arena changes, so they essentially increased the damage uh, reduction, so that's when, like, the time starts going away. Uh, the damage reduction goes to 40% now instead of 30 and then the recovery received... Uh, no, no, that's just all the time. Oh, that's all the so time? So they're adding more damage reduction, so you're going to do less damage in the arena. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 But then they're increasing the amount of healing reductions that they give. Yeah. And they're starting it a little bit earlier in Brawl Arena. 30 seconds earlier. 30 seconds earlier than before, yeah. So, yeah, we'll see how those changes are. Um, the HP recovery, I kind of noticed a few times because i went the length but a lot of my matches were kind of over before it was kind of procking too much two minutes in yeah or i guess sorry it was two and a half minutes in yeah so we'll see now once you got that time. deep in like once it kicks in someone loses yeah well guys sorry uh there is just still so much more to go over uh i wanted to kind of read through all of this but uh unfortunately i don't think i'm going to i'm going to stick with the cliff notes version of this one kina has a slight buff and cleef has a buff in pve content if you are a kina or a cleef i definitely recommend you go and read that and understand it or maybe watch someone who is a main talk about it um unfortunately there's no real changes to orbia here so i don't really have too much input here Ooh. yeah i'm a i'm a jerk uh but yeah it does seem like some good changes for y'all so um and then as well we just never read these guys i'm sorry i know we should well we can but... we can go through them quick look all the pioneers here improved their skill casting speed their the their one uh third ability was so slow it was so slow yeah they yeah. keep going through it's a lot of light and dark monsters i noticed that it's a lot of light and dark light and dark light and dark Panda water. Yeah. Uh, the break defense is actually the, really nice, though. It's defense up. Defense buff. Oh, yeah. And it's just because it's the same skill as the light one. Right? Oh, yeah. It's yeah, the yeah. exact same skill. And then uh, the wind undying thing that everyone knew, knows was coming forever. Yeah, the big changes yeah. with her. Uh, I still don't think she's good. And then this stuff. The me ring. One. Yeah, this one, I think they made her too good. But we'll see. Another light and dark one. Uh, light and dark, light and dark. It's huge. It's not that big. Remove two harmful effects to remove all. Huge. Huge, okay. Well, 
Oh he's gonna god. become one of my main. I never get that, that many harmful effects put on me. Oh my god, he's gonna become one of like my main uh, <laughs> PVE monsters. He's great. He's actually so good. Yeah, I think um, he's underused. Yeah. They're uh, reducing. Uh, what's her face here? Shastun. Her cooldown. Yeah. The cooldown on a Muse, though, not on uh, Fall Blossom. Thank God. Yeah, Fall Boss is so annoying. Uh, a bunch of Beast Monk changes. Yeah, it's it was a lot of like the light and dark. Oh, and I guess that's mermaid change. Everyone knew this one was coming too. And I just don't think it's good enough either. I think it's just not not gonna hit the mark. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, events. So summon your scrolls events. The ball and surprise wheel looks like they're keeping it's been it good. So good since they buffed it. Yeah, it's been so nice. Um, trial of ascension. So that of course means trial of ascension reset is coming. No, oh, not yet, right? No, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So it reset, obviously. So yeah, hopefully yeah. y'all doing your trial of ascension. And then again, this is just another wall of text that are really bad and don't really want to read. It's uh, always just things that never happen to you for the most part. Yeah, like you know what you know what I end up doing here, guys. You know what I recommend for you guys. Maybe you guys aren't like me, but like if you go to if you're gonna go scroll through Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or something, like I do this at work, then I open this up and I and I read through this and I see if any of it matters to me. Because, honestly, 90% of this probably doesn't matter to you. Well, look at this one right here in the middle. Fix five-star wind puller queen's awakened skill emotions when wearing the spring flower girl transmog. Yeah, like, <laughs> who cares? Like, I'm glad they... Listen, I'm really glad they do this. And I want them to keep posting this. And I'm glad they do. And like I said, I do read it when I'm bored at work and stuff yeah. like that. But, yeah. honestly, it's a bunch of nothing. For the most part. Yeah, it's, it's all stuff. It's just a bunch of stuff that... Doesn't happen very often. Or like something like this, like unnatural, incorrect displayed text in some languages. Like it's all just small stuff like that. But that is pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed this super long version. We talked even longer than I intended. A little little voice, a little scratchy here at 5 a.m. But hopefully you guys had fun with us. Uh, if you guys saw the too long, didn't read version, you guys know how much we had to condense. There's a lot of stuff to go through here, and the writing is terrible sometimes. Uh, but I, honestly, I don't blame Comptus USA, because I honestly feel like half of this is like really badly Google translated, but maybe I'm wrong. Or they're reading from bad Google Translate, or like some... There's, there's a there's a disconnect somewhere. <laughs> but uh, overall, uh, super excited. Tons of new content. Very impressed with CompTOS's ability to keep the updates coming. There was has been only a minor lull as far as content, in my opinion, in this game. As someone who is an avid player of the mobile games, this content is very fast-paced, in my opinion. And it's been going on for a while. So I'm impressed, and I think they have loads more to come. And what I like about uh, all their stuff, the last thing I'm going to say, and then I'll shut up and leave you guys alone, is every update they put in, there seems to be room for more things for them to add on to that update. So, for example, the battlefield. I think there could be more, even more modes, and it'll switch every season. As far as calling your guild to the guild town, I think maybe, I think they've actually already mentioned it, but there will be like a guild siege of some kind eventually, so you'll be able to call people. They already showed it. Yeah, they showed, see, I thought they showed it. Yeah, they showed it in the developer screen, yeah. You know what, we need to do a react to that thing on the subtitles, that's (laughs) what we need to do. Mute it, put on some uh, copyright-free music, and read through the subtitles. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) But, uh, comment down below if you want to see that. Anyway. No one's no one's here anymore. Chetta, do you have anything? No. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.